Hi, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to have a review of of these two freight cars from Lionel. Before I start reviewing these freight cars, uh, I'm going to explain to you why why I couldn't why I can't upload any more videos. Well, I still like to upload more videos, but but the problem was is that when I got access to YouTube, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't let me sign in um, on Internet Explorer, and and I the, the positive thing is that is that I did not make any upload any copyright videos, which may cause a violation. But and then and I'm, I'm guessing that the this this application may not may not work for that. I, I don't know why but when I got to another application like Google Chrome we do have Google Chrome in our computer when I got there we I signed in and it, and indeed it finally worked and so I got back at uploading more videos so I'm so now I'm gonna start uploading this video I'm gonna start reviewing these cars but before I do that I'm going to I'm going to ta explain to you why why I became involved with Lionel. That there are several reasons why I, why I became liking Lionel, but I'm going to tell you three major reasons why I like Lionel. First of all, M like MTH, Lionel created all kinds of really nice rolling stock, but unlike MTH, Lionel also created more operating cars operating cars and they also created but they also created but they also created more unusual operating cars that which may look pretty unique but very funny for example for example I've seen some of these cars like animated gondolas and how they work is that is that they have they have people or animals, which are two of them that chase around the cargo that the gondola is hauling, which looks really funny. Which looks really funny. And another example for that is um, is that I've also seen some aquarium cars, and how they work is that is that inside the car they have a they have an animation strip that that moves around the moves around the car and you can see through it to see the animation of fish roll fish swimming by and so it uh, so so it also looks really unique but very funny so Lionel did lots more unique but very funny cars secondly Lionel also offered these these trains that are painted in copyrighted pictures or or logos and they're called license products. License products can can be can be like food companies or movies or whatever is copyrighted. For example, I I've seen many seen many license products from Lionel, like like one food company uh, that that produces the most popular soda, which is Coca Cola. And and I've also seen some some of these trains from from the children's TV show, which is Thomas and Friends. And I've also seen on on Lionel's Christmas sets, which they produced almost every year, like the Polar Express and and a Christmas Story. And then also MTH MTH also also offered some of the licensed products some of these I've seen like like Caterpillar, a construction machine company Coors, an alcoholic beverage company and and even M&M's of course you know it's a it's a chocolate candy company and so overall Lionel's, Lionel's licensed products are very colorful so if you have some of Lionel catalogs, you'll see what I'm talking about along with the operating cars. Third reason, Lionel 
Lionel also includes digital command like like MTH. If you're new to a hobby, digital command is a much easier way to control your trains and then than using your transformer where it has a few functions like like a throttle control to increase the voltage or a, or a horn or a bell and or, or using the directions to control the engine reverse or or forward but digital command is a much easier way where you can play more features play more features and you can hear more sounds on them the first the first control system Lionel offered is called Trainmaster Command Control or TMCC and it allows it allows you to hear to hear sound to hear lots of sounds from from your trains and and else and you can also control lots of multiple multiple number of trains on your on your layout and it consists of the remote and and the command base the next next system Lionel Lionel offered is is called legacy control system and and like and like TMCC legacy consists of the command base and the remote control but it also includes more advanced features so you can see a lot more prototypical actions on your on your train and and one of the neat things about one of the neat things about legacy is that they is that the e is that the remote even has the has a touchscreen keypad where you can where you can where it includes the numbers for addressing and icons when operating operating your locomotive and in fact it's also the in fact it's also the the first remote I've ever seen that includes this particular kind of technology and and so and so I like to know all kinds of electronics Lionel used on for digital command and lastly and most importantly I also like to learn learn the important parts in history of Lionel if you're new to Lionel the company started in 1900 by by the founder Joshua Lionel Cowan and in fact he used his middle name to name the company Lionel and and one of the important one of the most important news in Lionel is that back in the 30s his favorite his favorite locomotive was the was the Hudson steam locomotive from New York from New York Central Railroad and so in 1937 he decided to to make the best scale model ever and I think it's probably the first scale model ever the first one and so he decided to to make the f the best scale model ever and indeed he did and so and so if you like to learn more about the about the first scale model ever you can you can go to you can go to one of Eric Siegel you can go to one of Eric Siegel's videos by by searching for the keywords on the screen all right, let's start reviewing. Let's start reviewing these freight cars. Now, now these freight cars I have consist of consist of the classic Lionel art box car. It looks really colorful. You can see it says Lionel 1947, and and behind that is the is the Pennsylvania hopper car. So you can see that. So you can see that they're they're compatible to my layout, because obviously obviously it's O gauge. And, and Lionel is the best known manufacturer of O gauge trains. Also, you notice that you notice that my layout is constructed with with real tracks from MTH. And and another kind of track system, another kind of track system from Lionel, which is from Lionel, is is called Fast Track. And you can see him. And Fast Track is, looks looks really similar to the real tracks from MTH and
and you can see because they have because obviously it's got a it's got a center it's got a center rail uh, which is the third rail to provide to provide power for the engine and it also has some texture uh, with the ballast and the railroad ties here now to show you how it works with them um, how it works with other freight cars that I have let's compare let's compare this with with some of the M with one of the MTH rolling stock here I'm going to use this this generator car from MTH so now you can notice that that these couplers are are a little different but when I uncouple that you can see it's a little bit a little bit easy on a couple and for this coupler it's a little bit more firm but let's see if I can couple these together you can see that there they are they are compatible the couplers are also compatible too since again it's it's O gauge and when I move it you can see it holds it's still still very strong and so it looks so it's still so still holding well here's another look at the here's another look at the couplers and, and if I move it again I'm adding this hopper there to see if it works too still holds well like that pretty nice now even though these freight cars are physically compatible some of you might ask me if I were getting a Lionel engine since I since I became involved with the, in the Lionel I'll explain it, I'll briefly explain it right now um, if I were getting a TMCC equipped engine that's okay but but actually you notice that I have this this remote commander set from MTH which comes along with the ready to run set that I got for Christmas about a couple years ago and you can see that it's got it's got few fewer functions like the most important ones like the throttle control and the the horn and the whistle and the horn and the bell but um, but um, if I were controlling a TMCC equipped equipped engine I would have to get a more complex DCS remote control system which consists of the remote control and the and the track interface unit or the TIU which is the command base for the for the DCS system and and to to operate a TMCC engine, I would I would also have to get a, a TMCC command base command base for for that. And if I were controlling with a TMCC remote, that's o that's okay. But but sometimes it'd be nicer to and easier to to control it on one remote. And in order to do that, it also requires a special cable to a cable to connect connect between the TIU and the TMCC remote TMCC command base so so, so I wouldn't I wouldn't afford to have a Lionel engine because it requires a lot a lot of D DCS equipment or I should say um digital command equipment to control TMCC engine so I wouldn't spend too much money on the a very complex system to control a Lionel train. You can learn more about, but you can learn more about the. You can learn more about the, about how to control TMCC engines with the, with the DCS system, by going in, by searching for the keywords, searching for the keywords. On the on the screen, so you can have a, so you can have a review of how to control these, from Eric Siegel. One last thing I want to show you are these are these Lionel boxes that come with with these freight cars, and they look really colorful. You can see that they're that they're blue and orange, and you can see and you can see Joshua Lionel Cowan's middle name on it, and and they and they look really and they look pretty much the same as they used to have in the old days, and most and most engines are are packed in those blue and orange boxes. 
with his middle name on it. Although, although as time goes by, there may be a few differences like the Lionel logo. And here's a look at here's a look on the side. Here's his middle name. There's also his there's also his middle name here. And on the back, you can see a Lionel logo here. So now, so now over all these these boxes look really colorful, blue and orange, really nice color. That about wraps up this review. These are really these are really cool freight cars, as you can see. You can see this really colorful paint scheme, a really colorful paint scheme on the box car, like I showed you before. And these are really really good start to my collection. Same thing with a hopper here. This is a really good start to my collection. Really good start to my collection. Anyway, I'm Brian, and I'll see you next time.